Can you believe it? They're shutting down Crossstool, right? Right there on your screen. They're shutting down Crossstool. You can't believe it? I sure can. Let's dive on into it, shall we? This garbage game is dead. Hello. Ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain off of that subscribe button as we keep on climbing even higher, the 1100 Super Saiyan level 1100 ladder. <laughs> so, yes, ladies and gentlemen, prepare your anus, Cross Duel is shutting down. So, this came out earlier today, I've been out and about all over the place, I haven't really had time to cover it. But yes, Cross Duel is shutting down, and I haven't mentioned Cross Duel at all ever since it came out, basically alongside Master Shits. Um, but the TLDR on it is that it was really cool in concept, but something like that is not what you can base a whole game on. Uh, that's more like a side mode that they should have put in Master Shits. Plus, they were just idiots whenever they released this game because they basically released it at the same time Master Shits came out. So right out of the gate, they basically cut their player base in half between Cross Duel and Master Shits and also kind of Duel Links too to a lesser degree. They shouldn't have done that. They were just trying to milk those cow udders for all the money in your wallets. So this message came out uh, today. The game will be ending service on September 4th, 2023. The game came out last July. It was... I'm feeling charitable today, so I'll say a year and a half, even though it's really a year and change. This terrible dog water game where you can duel four ways. I'm going to duel you here, duel you here, and duel you here. Please don't gang up on my ass. <laughs> uh, this thing lasted kind of a year and a half. Congrats, Konami. Have you learned your lesson yet? You probably fucking haven't, you morons. <laughs> uh, Cross Duel will also no longer be selling crystals for the remainder of its life. Oh no, what are we going to do? Those whales are probably going to go spend money in master shits now. <laughs> Here's the thing. Uh, we're we're, we're going to get to that in a second. Let, don't, don't let me get ahead of myself here. There will also be intentions of giving long-running players, so if you played longer than five minutes for the five of you that played this trash, giving long-running players of Cross Duel game, re game rewards, why your organization don't know how to spell, game rewards in Duel Links and Master Shits, such as currency and icons, woo! So, <laughs> oh, this is hilarious. So, here's the thing. Um, if you spent money in Cross Duel, you just lost it. <laughs> I mean, you lost it the moment you spent it, but you lost it. And uh, the reason why I'm talking about this mainly is like with the currency and shit that they're going to be getting the five cross duel players that actually played cross duel master shits together for whatever ungodly reason. Um, this goes to show why master shits is a pile of dog water because not only is just the game as a whole built from the ground up garbage, uh, and it looks like a game that. I don't know, came out in 2010. <laughs> um, but this is why I say you shouldn't spend money in these, basically what it is, is a live service game, right? Because at any time, Konami can say, Thanos snap, we're turning the lights off, turning off the server, don't let the door hit your ass on the way out. Have a good day, bye. Because you know what that means? You flushed your money down the goddamn toilet. And it's hilarious to me because... This just goes to show that not if, when Master Shits finally just dies and the servers turn off and just shit the bed, uh, people wasted their money on cards and battle passes and Chaos Emerald Gems, woo as I like to say. Uh, and then when all this shuts down, you lost all your money. You lost it when you spent it because you're buying digital cardboard that's more worthless than NFTs and NFTs have no value anyway. Um, but now with Cross Duel dying, to me, it shows, number one, how idiot Konami R&D is because they released, I'm just going to say for argument's sake, that they released Cross Duel Master Shits at the same time. So they, they what, what do you call it? They watered up their player base. Like they divided them in half for no reason. And on top of that, why didn't you just have Cross Duel in Master Shits as a game mode? It's already so void of content anyway. Why don't you just put Cross Duel in? Now, I know some people are going to say, well, Avery, with Cross Duel shutting down, this is bad because we don't have any sort of official way to play like this and blah, blah, blah. And to that point, I say, fair enough. However, don't you think that if there was actually an audience to play a four-way duel, even as idiotic as that sounds, because at first, like, I was kind of into it, and then once I saw gameplay of it, I was like, Ugh, uh, 
<laughs> like I, I, I couldn't handle it. I thought it was going to be sick. Like it, it, it was horribly, horribly done. Um, yeah, I want to no know part of it. But if there is actually an audience for it, don't you think that these unofficial simulators like Dueling Book, Dueling Nexus, or EDO Pro, unofficial simulators that are way more official than the actual Master Shit game, don't you think that they would have a game mode for Cross Duel? Like, as a side mode, it's fantastic because it's not really something you have to commit to. And something like Cross Duel, like, with its own ban list and all that in concept, even like say on Master Shits, is an amazing idea because with Cross Duel, like, okay, it's not the actual game. You're playing a four-way duel. It's not something that I think Konami ever said was like an official Yu-Gi-Oh simulator. I know they've said that about Master Shits. I don't think they've ever said it about Cross Duel. So it's like, okay, it's not just supposed to be an official simulator. You're dueling three other people at once. They could all gang up on you and kick your ass, kick you on out the convention center, as I like to say. But, uh, you know, I, I could give this a pass and even play it from time to time if it was advertised that way and you know you could easily get cards and things like that but it's all about player retention and it's all about milking your wallet dry and so now all these people that spent uh, hopefully it wasn't excuse me hopefully it wasn't a lot of people that played cross duel but any sort of money they got spent you may as well just kiss it goodbye the moment that you spent it because now it's all gone because the game is just going to cease to exist. Cross duel is no longer a thing. Oh, but they'll give you some currency and icons and dual links, even though that's, I think, kind of dying too. And of course, they're going to give it to you in Master Shits, which is just like, <laughs> they're going to give you shit in a dog water game. Here, you, you wasted your money. Here is a turd. Please take the turd. Does the turd smell good? I don't think it smells good. He does not look happy. Although he can't catch anything to save his life, especially in Gen 1. <laughs> so, uh, it, it, it just amazes me that Konami is this idiotic. You know, why is that that they're focusing on all these things like Cross Duel and Master Shits and Best of One? And as I've said before, Master Shits, they say, is an official simulator when it's more of an official simulator in the OCG. Look at YCS Japan. That, that is going to be like a big tournament in the OCG and stuff like that. You know what they play at those YCSs? Best of one. That means Master Shits is more of an official simulator over in the OCG than it is in the TCG because we don't give a shit about best of one. Who cares? And what gets me, again, back to my previous point, why are they focusing on like random game modes like this and putting out random shit games like this when if they did something like Turbo Dueling, they would make so much money. For those of you who didn't play the World Championship games, which are strictly better games, back in the day, like 2009 to 2011, they had a turbo duel mode, just like, just like in the anime. You know, get on your motorcycle, you can customize your motorcycle, you can kick your opponent's ass, knock them off their motorcycle, you know, like, whatever. And, like, you played with the turbo cards. So, like, for example, if you wanted to play a card like Monster Reborn, you would use the speed spell version of Monster Reborn, where you had to remove 12 speed counters in order to get the effect of Monster Reborn. It was a really different way to play, and, yeah, you could kind of cheese it, like in the story mode against the AI, you could just play a burn deck and not really play any of the speed spell cards and you were fine. Um, but it was still really cool in concept, like using the speed world effects, depending on how many counters you had. Like I think you could remove eight counters to deal like 800 damage to the opponent. You could remove like 11 counters to I think like pop an opponent's card. You could remove like, I think two counters, to like draw a card or something. Like it was really cool in concept and they've never done anything with that. They made speed duels, which is just kind of whatever, right? I think it's kind of dumb, but I mean, it's it's passable. It's fine. Um, but it's like all these things that they've tried haven't been popular. And like turbo dueling in the DS games was like actually kind of fun. You could even play online against other people and whatever. You could customize your duel runner like, you know, in game and stuff like it was a lot of fun. And like they're doing all this random crap that just doesn't make sense. It's like they didn't learn with all y'all who know this nostalgia. You're going to squeal like a girl. But like, I remember this. It's like they didn't learn their lesson from many years ago back in the day with Yu-Gi-Oh! Dungeon Dice Monsters. Apparently they thought it'd be a good idea to make a Game Boy game where it's a, basically a strategy game like Final Fantasy, but it's turn-based or like Fire Emblem, excuse me, where you would dimension the dice and summon out your monster and then you try and move across the board and shit and no one cared. They tried to do that stuff IRL and probably all the Timmies and Johnnies that bought it lost the dice, cried for five minutes and stopped giving a shit. And it did terrible. They don't even do that anymore because anything that's not card game based, people just don't care about. And like with Master Shits, the main complaint that people have is they sell me five times and attack me with 30,000 damage. I didn't even get to draw a card. To which I always say, welcome to modern fucking Yu-Gi-Oh! since like 2013. And now we're seeing Cross Duel shut down. And people are like, ah! 
And it's like, bro, are you really surprised, my guy? It was booty, booty, butt cheeks. Like, why would you make a soul game just to be on a random mode like this? It makes no sense to me. Just put in a match mode. Make a world championship game. I stand by this. If Konami were to release a world championship game with all of the banlists, all of the cards ever to come out, and they put make it like 40, 50 bucks, give us three promo cards, or maybe not even any promo cards now that we can buy games digitally now through Steam. Make it a 40, 50 dollar game, put in a battle pass to give people something to work for, like a Fortnite battle pass, get some emotes or some shit. And like, I'd buy it, I'd play it, cause that sounds fun. You put in a match mode, you put some AI, you put in a story mode, like the world championship games, and like, you're good. I don't know why this is so difficult to do, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know why that's so hard. But apparently to Konami, it is. Sorry, my PC's being a piece of crap right now. So guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. You know, how long will Master Duel stand on its own two feet uh, on this rickety bridge? Because I think any day, well, I say any day, but it's going to probably be around for a while. But hopefully it'll die off sooner rather than later. Guys, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video.